Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time. This morning, I want to talk about people that are in our lives that drive us nuts, right? We're going to call them EGRs, which stands for Extra Grace Required. I love the way Rick Warren defines that in his daily devotional, um, Daily Hope. But have you ever thought that God might put them in your life to be heavenly sandpaper? There are people in our lives that may irritate us, but God uses them to take off our rough edges and shape our character. See, their activity might not be God's plan for them, but it is God's plan for us. God allowed them to come into our life. And some of those EGRs or extra grace required people are minor irritations. They may drive too slow in the fast lane. Some of them may be more challenging. They may sit in the back seat and tell you how to drive. Other EGRs may be just plain mean. They never say thank you. They're rude. They're negative. They're demanding. They're demeaning. They're disapproving. You just cannot make them happy no matter how hard you try. Whatever you do, it's not good enough. So what do you do with people like that? How can you show them mercy when you'd rather show them the door? Well, over these next few devotionals, I want to share six steps to demonstrating mercy to the EGRs in your life, those extra grace required people. The first of those six is this, look behind their behavior. When you're dealing with people who are offensive and irritating, you need to look past their behavior to their pain. When people are hurting others, it's because they're hurting on the inside. Hurt people hurt people. They're full of fear and insecurity. They may have a painful past or be dealing with some pressure you don't know about. You need to ask yourself why they're acting the way they are. Why are they being short with you? Did they have a fight with their husband or with their wife? Is everything okay with their kids? Are they in financial trouble? Is something going on with their health? What's the thorn in their side that's causing them to be mean to everybody else around them? Look past their behavior and look at the pain and try to understand. You say, Doyle, uh, what's a scripture for this? Okay, I'm glad you asked. Proverbs 12, 16. I like the way the Good News Translation says it. It says, when a fool is annoyed, he, is quickly, he quickly lets it be known. Smart people will ignore an insult. I just think of social media today. So many people, they get annoyed, they blast it to everybody in the known world or at least everybody on their friend list or who follows them on Twitter. The Bible says when a fool is annoyed, he lets it quickly be known. Smart people, though, will ignore an insult. Why do wise people ignore an insult? Because they look behind the behavior to the pain. When you understand a person's pain, it helps you respond with patience. I know this is going to sound bad, but whenever I look for potential staff members and, and we're praying about who God might be bringing to help us on our team of ministry, I look at their social media. If they're one of those that lash out quickly whenever they get annoyed or they just want to let everybody know their little pain, um, that lets me know they're really not a mature person. And uh, it's smart people who can ignore an insult. So, as you go through the day, think about how do you respond to the extra grace required people in your life? Are you quick to fire off a, a, a social uh, media post about them or are you happy to pray for them? Second, what have you discovered when you look behind someone's behavior? When you've been looking, what do you do then? See, if God reveals to you some things it might be because he wants you to pray for them. He wants you to ask them what's going on. He wants you to love on them. And, and then realize, be smart enough to realize how your own pain influences your behavior. Try not to be the EGR, the extra grace required person yourself. Try not to be that. Understand how your own pain influences it. And if there's pain in your life that, that's unresolved, deal with it. Get some help. Get some counseling. We have Christ First Counseling right here. I highly recommend them. Um, talk to somebody. Talk to some friends. Ask them if you're one of those EGRs. And, and if they're a good enough friend, they'll tell you yes. Or they'll tell you why you're not. Anyway, I hope as you go through this day and you have EGRs that come across your path, 
you'll look behind uh, their situation and see what's really going on. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you so much for this day, for our friends today. And even as we have people that cross our path that just irritate us, help us, Father, to uh, understand what they're going through and to maybe extend a little bit more grace where we wouldn't have in the past. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Love God. Love one another. Now, even with EGRs, go be salt and light.